Hi everyone, welcome to Java Express channel. Guys, today I'm going to discuss another important confusion interview question is difference between the path param and request param. Okay, there is a huge difference is there. In the real time, we will use both annotations in interview room, definitely question they will ask you, what is the purpose of using path param and request param? I'm going to explain the theory and as well as demo session as well. Guys, if you're really liking our videos, please like the video button and click and notification bell icon. Okay, so that you will never miss any update. Guys, even we are, go we are going to start a new batch. Already it is started. Okay, if you want to know more details, Java backend developer course, it is started on October 24th. Contact details, everything available under the description link. Day one, day two, day three. Just please have a look. If you are interested, you can join live online training batch. Okay, so let me come to the point. <clears throat> what is a path param? Okay, path param can present anywhere in the URL. URL in the sense endpoint. In the endpoint, you can write, you can use anywhere these path params. Inside the path params, it contain values. Here, if you see, if you observe here, I'm to say, let me take some marker pen. It contain values and no keys here. There is no concept of the keys in the path param. Like for example, localhost, your port number, slash, this is a URL of your product controller or employee controller. And mostly path param can used for, okay, to retrieve details based on the primary keys. Primary key. Now here, ID represent your primary key. Here, you can replace one or one twenty uh, one two or 55, it's kind of a values directly. There is no key concept here. This is concept of the path param. And we have another one called request param. <clears throat> it is also similar like to get the data, but the way of representation and one more functionality added for the request param as well. So this request param can present end of the url so path param anywhere we can use in the url but the concept the point here the request param is end of the url and these request parameters will start with a question mark we used to call query parameters or request parameters as well okay these query parameters represent in the form of key comma value if you use the path param, what is only value? But here we can use, are you able to observe here? Question mark ID equal to 404. Here ID is your key, 504 is the value. So where ID is matching 504, I want to get data from the database. Now, if you want to send more than one query parameter, we need to use another symbol called ambrescent symbol here to represent this is key comma value and this is key comma value. To separate both, we are using this is the symbols. So to use query parameters, question mark, key comma value and ambrescent symbol. Here, one more functionality available compared to the path param, we can make these query parameters are optional. So that is the main difference between the path param and request parameters. We can provide default values also we can provide. It's kind of a optional parameter here. Okay, so in which use cases I need to use a path param, I need to use the request param. You may have this question, right? Now, let me open my workspace already for you. I created one controller here. Have a look. I created one employee controller. Inside a employee controller for demonstration, I'm explaining the URL. Here, employee ID. Here, this is called path param. Here, you can use, like I can say, PID. You can use. Here, also, you should use PID. So this is called binding method parameter in the URL. Here you can use any name, so no problem. Oh, this is employee ID, EID and EID here. Now, 
this is using path parameter now same concept here what i am doing here if you see integer equal to employee id so if you see question mark here these two urls are working fine both are mandatory attributes here the functionality both are same there is no difference here okay here we are sending in the url here we are sending key comma value only that is the difference what is the benefit when to use this concept in the real time these request parameters means like a pagination if you want to implement the pagination so in that case the path param is not sortable request parameters are sortable because here i can provide the default value so you the same endpoint a user can send this url is valid and if you see this user you, uh, url is valid if you are using this url internally it will be convert into question mark kill to number of records is equal to 10 why because the default value i given if user is not providing okay uh, application will be append the url no you want to provide some new url in that case you can override that a default value you can override as well this is the difference between the path param and the request param. If you have any questions, please leave your comments. I will clarify to you. Thank you, guys. We'll catch up in the next session.